Okay guys, welcome back. In the last video, we set up our start page, which have all the JavaScript and CSS. So now we can rock and roll. I want to share with you a site where you can go for your future projects and get all the different templates that Bootstrap, all the templates in here, they're all Bootstrap related. There are a lot of templates in terms of like login screen and sign up or whatever. If you wanna go in here, you can go to this link and not to worry about it, I'll put it in the description for you so you can click on and check out later on. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will be using this template, as I said in my uh, earlier videos, which will have three screens, sign up screen, login screen, and forgot password screen. So what I did for you guys is I created a template here already for the sign up one, which has all the codes in here. So that way we can save some time rather than me hand coding everything in here. We'll just start off with this base template and I'll go through each of line of code to tell you what it does and how we can use it. So let's get started. So I'm gonna hop on over to my Sublime Text Editor and this template, by the way, this template you can download it from the link below, I'll give you guys. So we'll start off with the top of the page, which has all the jQueries and CSS we need. Some basic stuff, we don't have to worry about it because we already included in our file. And then all the magic happens in here. It has a div container, then it also has a div container, then it has an alert a div, which we'll be using it. So if you don't understand any of this, just follow through it and uh, it will all make sense pretty soon. And then we have our another div, which is a screen div. And then within our div, we have a panel. So let me show you what that means. So this, the whole thing right here, all everything in the blue uh, box is a screen, which is our sign up screen. And within our box, the screen, we have the header, which is a sign up. And then everything in here is called body. So going back in here, we have our header, all of this code. And then within our header, we have our div that says sign up. And then we have a link that says go to uh, login menu. So let me show you. So this is the sign up form, uh, the text. And then this is the menu that says login. And then we'll go through each one of these boxes. And then we follow through it. And I'll make this very simple for you guys. Everything is commented in here so you can easy to follow. So next we are in the panel of the body. And in here we have an alert div, which will come in handy when someone goes to sign up for our form. And if they enter in something wrong, like for example, if the email address is not filled in correctly, we will show the error message in this div along with other uh, error messages. And followed by, we have our sign up form. In here, we have our username, div container, which just has a username. And I know a lot of people like to use IDs and names when they are referring to an element or input box or anything in that nature. I like personally like to use classes. I think it's better, it works better for me. However, if you wanted to use it as a name or ID, you could just simply take this and then type it name equal this, or you could just copy over again and give it an element tag of a ID. It's your preference. I prefer classes personally, but if you like to use names or, di or IDs, by all means, you can use it any which way you like. So I'm gonna delete this just because I like to use classes because it's easier, it's just everything is there. Just side note, personal preference, nothing major. And then we have our user ID, and then we have our password container, so to speak, and then the email container, and then last but not least, button. So now that we have our sign up form, which looks like that, from this container, we are going to build our next screen, which is a login screen. So I already have a space here for us for to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy everything 
on the top of the screen, which is the login screen. Right here. And then I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to take out the stuff we don't need, make it easier. So in here we have our sign up form. What I'll do is I'll just call it login just to keep things somewhat uniform, I guess. Login and in here I'll just call it login as well. And login as well. And then when we log in, let's see, what do we want? We just want an email address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to only leave the email address part in here and everything else I'm going to toss. So that will make it easier. So from all the way bottom and then up until here, I'm going to toss it because we won't need it. Actually, before I tossed out, sorry, I had to pause the video for a second. Uh, if we look back to our login screen, we will need the email address and a password, not just an email. So if we go back in here and we'll say we want to keep the password and the email address. So go in here, toss everything else. And then I'm going to move the email address part up top. So it makes it look in organized way and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all these to logins so if I go back in here say login this is login this is login and the form name is login as well alert is login and our screen name is login as well and then the menu ID will so the menu ID what that means is once we are on our screen uh, for example let me just save this just to show you so once we are in the not this one sorry this one so once we are in the screen for example sign up the next thing what we want our users to do is hey if you already signed in I mean, if you already signed up, you're going to click on the login part. However, if we are in the login screen, what do we want this menu to show? If the person is logged in, I mean, if the person has a already signed, if the person did not sign up, let me rephrase that, then we want to put a link at the bottom that says, hey, click here to sign up. Or, or this one, we want to say, hey, did you forget your password? So that way the person can move on to different screens. All right, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the code that says, hey, if you are in the login screen, but you don't have an account, click here to sign up for it. So this is the code that will give them an option to do so. I know it may seem a little overwhelming right now, but it's really not. It's just some things that we need to just do it. So in here we have our sign up, click here. So if I save this now and then refresh this page and at the bottom right here where it says sign up. So once someone clicks here, they're gonna go to this screen. But if someone clicks in here, they're gonna go to this screen. And once they are here, we want them to go to another screen called forgot password. So I'm gonna change this to forgot password. So if I go back up here, rather than saying login I'm gonna say forgot password or yeah forgot password forgot password and I'm gonna change this menu ID to say for password all right so make this consistent as well all right, so now if we go back to our screen now and refresh the page, and now it says forgot password. And next thing we're gonna do is build a screen called forgot password. So let's do that. So now that we have our 
login screen. I'm going to copy everything from login and just dump it into the forgot password screen. Make sure I have everything. I got everything. So I'm going to go to my forgot password area, paste it there. And then what I want to do is just change all the different tags to say forgot password. So in here, I'll start off with this for forgot password. So I'm going to copy all these and just follow through. It will all make sense pretty soon. So just bear with me here. So log in, I want to say forgot screen, forgot password screen, the name of it. And once they're here, what do we want them to do? We want them to go back to uh, log in so they can go backward rather than forward because this is the last screen. They can't go any further. So I'm going to say log in and the menu will be login as well. Login. And the tag in here will just say login as well. And let's change this to be forgot alert. And follow the same process, change everything to be login. So when we are forgot, when we forgot our password, we don't need the password screen or the box, so we can delete that. Only thing we need is the is the login user or email address. So there we go. And then I'm gonna change the button ID to be forgot button ID. And then in here I'll just say forgot password. And last but not least, once they're at the bottom of the page, they can click on sign up if they don't have the ID yet. So I'm gonna save this and refresh the page. And there we go. There's our forgot password screen. Once, so this is how it works. First, if someone doesn't sign up for it, they can go to this screen and then fill up stuff up. If they already signed up for it, they can click on the login button, which will take them to this screen where they can log in. And if they have now have two options, they can either sign up if they haven't signed in, or they can use this forgot password screen. So if they click here, they're going to go to the last screen that says forgot password. And for some reason, if they're here, like, oh crap, I remember what my password is, they can go back in here or click on the sign up screen. I think I will conclude it here and the next one we will make them all work together like they're supposed to. So I will see you guys in the next video.